I got some bear mace too in my car. What's the difference between bear <laughs> mace and pepper spray? It's way stronger, dog. A bear, human. <laughs> Do they just have like way better eyes than like more protective eyes than it's stronger? Fucking, they are big as hell. <laughs> you need some potent. That's like does that matter with eyes? Though? Yeah. Like, with the it, eyes, it's pretty much pepper spray, like what he just showed you. But it shoots she permanently like, blinds them, is what it you're shoots telling like. Me. Well, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a, another episode of Barbershop Break Room. Derek's here. Surprise, motherfuckers. Matt is not. But Sur me and Jordan are here as always. Give me some fries, motherfucker. Welcome back to episode 82. Everybody, we need you guys to like and subscribe, please, to our content. Feel free to comment, engage. Control. Helps us out a lot. Yep. Means a lot. It. Yep. Helps the algorithm. Yeah. We need a little bit of money, too, so feel free to engage with us. Um, yeah. All right. So, fellas. Found this little toy. <laughs> we got Scotty Barnes over there. <laughs> Don't call. Me. All right. What's your question? Yeah, you already knew what I was going <laughs> to say. All right. So Come I have on, a question Bobby for Boyd. you guys. Do you guys think that, do you think Kalen Clark can be for the WNBA what Michael Jordan was for the NBA? What? In terms of like being a ground bear groundbreaking player and stuff and, and like taking it household to name. new heights like he made the sport global like you remember when they played in the olympics and jordan got off the plane all the fans were going crazy and you know he really made the game worldwide as opposed to just american basketball so do you guys think caitlin clark well even his shoes and all of the above do you guys think caitlin clark could be similar to what michael jordan did for the nba she has the best chance, I think, of anybody ever to do that. So it's a it's a hard hard question to answer, but I'll say yeah. I think that she she can and she will. Okay, I like that because I just the reason I asked is because people started complaining about contracts once Caitlin Clark became a thing, and then it's it's been a contract conversation, but. For a while. Yeah. People were on Instagram and Facebook like, wow, she's only getting paid $320,000 a year. That's crazy. This, that, and the other. So since she's so talented, I think it's starting to help the league itself. But Derek, what do you think? Um, so from my perspective, I never watched any college women's hoops before in my life. I never watched any WNBA games in my life. But Misogynist. when Iowa was playing and Caitlin Clark was on the floor, I turned it on to watch. So, and I assume a lot of random dudes that never watched the WNBA or, no offense, college women's basketball tuned in to watch. And that's probably one of the first only women's players to kind of do that. I don't know. Um, throughout high school, I haven't seen a WNBA player that came up and was all the spark. I know Sue Bird a little bit uh, was a big name. But other than that, Sabrina, big name. Stewie, Brianna Stewart. Um, Kelsey Plum, Kelsey Plum, I'm Caitlin Clark's the biggest out of all of them, yep. at least hype wise. Is she going to be better? I don't know. I'm going to answer again because uh, I may or may not have put the camera on Derek when I answered <laughs> the whole time. No, 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 just my answer, and then I switched to Dante when he was talking again. Like I thought my camera was your camera. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll I'll edit it and I'll cut it out. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Run it. Just keep going. It's hard, but you can keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Why you mock me like that, bitch? <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, I think that Caitlin Clark could. I think she's like the first player ever that really has the chance to do that, at least for since I've been alive. Like Derek said, um, yeah, I yes, she can. I'm still buying a Andrew Reese jersey. <laughs> so I'm just, I mean, I'm I just I think she only played one preseason game so far, right? Yeah, they had a preseason game over the weekend. And she played good. She dropped 21. Yeah. They I, lost. Yeah, they did lose. Talking about Caitlin Clark? To, yeah. To another yeah. rookie that just got drafted this year, too. Mm -hmm. um, but she has the type of game that makes people want to watch her. Facts. Does yeah. Angel Reese have that game? No. No offense to Angel hey, Reese. Don't no. do that to Angel Reese. Why? Angel Reese is a big. That, that's what I'm saying. It's like the Tim Duncan thing. Ain't no one turning on Tim Duncan to watch his fundamentals. 
Dang. They're turning on Steph to watch him go crazy from three. Spurs fans about to be at your neck. Am I wrong or am I right? Fundamental with everything. Am I wrong or am I right? I'm not agreeing with you. Or You're agreeing with me. You. You're agreeing with me. Everyone else is agreeing with I me. I didn't agree with you. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm turning I'm tuning in to watch some of our games this year and we're gonna go to one. We're gonna go to one. Courtside. I'm, I'm getting a jersey. Courtside can only be like two hundred bucks. That's crazy. It's the not same as her. NBA. Her first preseason game was sold out. Yeah, I mean it's hard. Yeah, bro, it's the same as NBA. Yeah, Why hard. would it be less? What'd you say? Why would it be less? Because ticket sales are incredibly low and they want attendance, Why? so they're not going to up the prices. They need attendance? Why? Is no one watching? Or Yeah, because women don't support the WNBA. It's hard for men, too, oh. because we have the NBA and we have superior talent, but women don't support the WNBA. You can walk me into this all you want. I'll stand <laughs> 10 toes down. Women don't support the WNBA. Like, I'm not going to say there's no reason to, but, like, we watch the NBA. Like... Men are more exciting. They're bigger. They're faster. They're stronger. They dunk. Yeah, I just break it off with the dunks thing. So I was like, what is the most dunks ever in WNBA history? Two? Bro. Two, great. three. <laughs> less than, Parker's dunked in a game. Less than three, I'm pretty sure. Angel Reese got on that fast break in a national champion. I mean, the game before national championship. WNBA. Champion. I was like, dunk that. WNBA. Less than three dunks. You can see six dunks. Double that in one NBA game. Yeah. Facts. Like... That's just that's the difference right then. Don't there. try to bait me again. I'm gonna stay in ten toes down. I'm the master baiter. But hey, should we announce my new position after we just talked about the WNBA? Sure. But you were yeah, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Guys, I have an announcement. Save yourself. Speaking speaking on supporting women's basketball, I have just been hired mm-hmm. as a women's junior varsity. Uh, I said junior varsity, varsity assistant coach. Let's go, baby. Clap. Can we answer five? I know to varsity to save, assistant coach, bro. Come on now. To save yourself, you did say women didn't support. You never said men didn't support. Yeah, so sure. you support. Yeah, I we watch. all support. Oh no, I watch. I'm a student of the game. You're kind bro. of calling out the mothers and yeah. the women to be, hey, this is your sport. Yeah, like when I'm sitting next to my we wife, we need some support. And she's like, turn this off. Aren't the fucking Lakers? You slap playing? her in the face. No, yeah. no, I do not. Yeah, you said, listen here. <laughs> <laughs> We're watching this shit. <laughs> you understand so bad. <laughs> Listen here, bitch. <laughs> All right, go to the next. Let's talk next about time. a real sport, the NBA. Wait, what? Oh. Cut that out. Just kidding. <laughs> That's what your wife would have said. Yeah, yeah, bitch. You're just quoting. Cut that out, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the NBA playoffs. Me and Derek. When is repping time? You know, our cavies just came off of a 4 3 <laughs> Playoff, duh. Cleveland Cavaliers. Looking like they were about to lose, but guess what? Cavs plus seven and a half was always a good bet. They went down 20 and I took them with the points. It was electric. 18. Close enough, though. No, I said l- they were only getting oh, okay, seven okay. and a half points. It was the largest deficit in a game seven since like 1997. Dang, fun fact. Yep. It was the first Cleveland series win since 1993. Without LeBron James. Okay. I was like, what? Without LeBron James. Okay, that's probably so true. So without Mark Price. Brad Doherty. I never knew how to say his last name. I didn't know if it was Daughtry or Doherty. Doherty. So uh, do you have any faith in the Cavaliers in this next round? No. So Chris Stapps is hurt, but he has like the calf strain thing. I don't know if he's going to come back or not, like healthy-wise. Why don't they play New York? No. Celtics. Oh, New York plays Indiana. Yes. Yeah. I would have faith uh, if they played the Celtics. I mean, if they played the Knicks or the Pacers. Yeah, I thought the Knicks. We're playing the hardest team left in the East, which is the Celtics. Oh yeah, we're cooked. Um, Jared Allen was out this game. Rib injury. Third in a row. Dude, it's win or go home. We needed you out there. Yeah, you got to nut up, bro, for real. And if your rib isn't broken, get out. You can't strain a rib. Yep. If that shit ain't broken, you got to be out there. Get out there. What is it? Cracked? Yeah. <laughs> Fractured? Loser? <laughs> Soft. Yeah. What a AWFT. Soft. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyways, um, I don't have much faith. Um, I hope we win. Donovan Mitchell played a little rough in the beginning. Darius Garland didn't play that well all game until late in the fourth quarter. Um, you start slow against the Celtics. Curtains. It's Jason Tatum's going to be the best player on the floor. I don't think anyone's going to argue that. Nope. You got Jalen Brown, which is... The second best player on the floor, probably. I would say pretty close to Donovan Mitchell. They're side by side with I, one of another. I'd take Jalen Brown over Donovan Mitchell. It's close. I'd take I think Jalen might give you a little better defense. Yep. Um, because Bancaro roasted us. Yeah. We could do nothing with Bancaro. Shout out to him. Stuck. Jason Tatum, similar size, similar build, similar play style. More experience. And he's better. More experience. Um, 
The only thing that we had a little different is we had a little more size with Jared Allen, Evan Mobley, and a couple of mm-hmm. our bigs. They have Chris Stapps that come back. We're going to have trouble guarding all those positions. Did you guys see when Chris Stapps got hurt? Yeah. yeah. On contact. It looked, it looked like he his Achilles snapped up his leg. And it, and it, it looked like Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, and it wasn't yeah, and it his wasn't. Achilles shocking. No. I thought it was. At least too. that's what they said. Um, can I shout somebody out real quick? Go ahead. Yeah. I just thought it was pretty funny. Um, can I shout out our guy that we trail often, uh, Cody Brown Betts? Yeah. Cody Brown did bets. tweet something funny. <laughs> he, he, said, he said, about I hope Darius the Cavs Garland. get eliminated so we don't have to ever think about Darius Garland until October. <laughs> then he, he said, dude can't even make a layup. Three fouls and one for six shooting. He was so mad. He said, I just hope they get eliminated. He finished three for 12. And I mean, Donovan Mitchell in the first half didn't play that good either. He might have had points, but it was because of free throws. Yeah. Dude was shooting two for 10, maybe two for 11. And then he started to cook it in the second half, mm-hmm. which is great. If he didn't do that, we lose the game. Over 28 and a half Absolutely. is always the play. But um, Magic was probably the worst team in that side of the bracket in the playoffs, right? Oh, it's Milwaukee's close, they, but they, they had Lillard. Score one to five. They did have Lillard prior to, but yeah, I would say... Unfortunately, because if you just look at if you're comparing player to player to player, yeah, the Magic, not record wise, but talent wise, experience, experience, yeah, they're the team that you would want to play. Ben Caro still played great. Yeah, absolutely. He was a dog, but he had he has no help around him. Yeah, but their second best player is Franz Wagner, and he played terrible this game. And then, like, if you keep going down the list, it like progressively gets worse. And not like disrespecting those guys. Jalen Suggs is good. Markel Fultz is a He didn't play very dude. good either. You know, uh, Joe Ingles, nice experienced guy. I don't think he shot all day. You know, but like. No, he shot one. <laughs> Did he? And he missed the fuck out of it. I was going to. I seen yeah. him on the floor. He like right at the hoop. It I'm thinking about head. Page. I'm like, bro. I'm like, he's out there. I'm like, he should just sit in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like none of those players jump off the page. So don't get me wrong. The Pacers roster is pretty similar to that. Like but they, they got their Siakam, uh, Tyrese, yeah. Miles was, Turner. That that three is way bigger than. I was gonna say you got Ben Carroll, and then you go and look at. It's probably better than the Cavs. The Pacers. You think the roster's better than the Cavs? Might be. Siakam's the best big out of any of the bigs that the Cavs have. Defensively, no. Jared Allen and is, is a better defensive player. Siakam's a way better scorer. Tyrese. I'm gonna take Donovan Mitchell over Tyrese. Tyrese is. Very inconsistent when it comes to shooting the ball. Yeah, but you got to go Tyrese and Garland. They're the points. Unless I was I was going for best. I was going star and star for the okay, most. Okay, star part. and star. I'll take down to the Mitchell. Tyrese Halliburton will probably end up. Eh, never mind. I walk it back. Uh, yeah, but it's close. I I think they're closer than that. But I think the Magic are probably the worst. For sure. On that side of the bracket. So we got no faith. No faith. Sorry, guys, I wasn't ready to record today. This was a last-minute decision. If No faith in our Cavs. Only faith. If Allen comes back, he plays healthy. You have Evan Mobley, Jared Allen, both bigs, and Chris Stapps is out. Celtics bigs are trash. I still don't like our chances. So if we're able to eat at them that way, there's a chance, but you have to stop Jason Tatum because Okoro is going to be the one guarding him. Yeah, but Evan Mobley don't play big, though. Like he. Oh, no, he, trust me. He plays like a yeah. what we called your wife. Yeah, like he no definitely offense. does. Respectfully. Respectfully. Um, she understands. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we'll see. It'll be a good <laughs> series. But we got to move on to another series that looks like it's about to be explosive. MJ Jr. MJ Jr. Anthony Edwards, the most exciting player in the NBA right now. My favorite player since LeBron's getting old now. Anthony <laughs> Edwards. Dog. He is a dog. He going at him. He calling every vet an old ass N-word. It's crazy. He said it. He said to Kawhi, said to KD. Kawhi probably don't know. <laughs> he even told he even said to the media, Hey Bron, I don't like what they did to you. We about to beat them for you. Was that real? That was not real. No. I don't know actually. But I feel like it's real because Nancy Edwards is a wild boy. Sure. So I like it. So let's just pretend it's real for the sake of this bit. Yeah. Let's go in. He's yeah. that dog. He's dog in. So they lost game one, the Denver Nuggets. Battle back. But lost. Murray Jordan. played terrible in the beginning. Oh, man. But, but listen, I, I'm not even going to talk about Murray because, you know, I smile at my Kentucky players. Shout out to my old teammates. Go ahead, Jordan. I miss his old IG stories. This guy's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's crazy. Go ahead, Jordan. Did you did you see the game? Please say yes. I, I didn't. I was at, I texted you guys about it. I was texting you that I couldn't watch the game. I was at a grad party for You got a straight meet at the table. Man, I was, that bitch. I was hammered. 
<sighs> All right. Well, Derek. Yeah. Put us on your back. Uh, I, I did want to say, uh, fuck Rudy Gobert. He scored three points. I had him over 12 and a half. Okay, so listen. So I'm not, <laughs> you go. You no, go. no, no, no. You want to defend go. Rudy? Because I was going to defend Rudy too. I'm not going to defend him, but like I don't. I understand. Rudy's I'm points. just mad that you didn't he did. get my bit. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. Bitch. I just take you know, ten plus points, ten plus rebounds every once in a while, a little double double action. But I get it, man. This thing is actually. I mean, he didn't even get ten points. So yeah, he got three, six. Oh, the six. Okay. Um. Well, he didn't get twelve and a half. Well, what about Anthony Edwards though? Tell us. Put up forty three. Forty three. Seven rebounds, three assists. Um, Youngest player to drop forty in the playoffs ever. And I I had him over. I think like nineteen and a half. Oh, blew it out the water. Yeah, I don't know. Gobert killed me. I think it's it, probably because they have two decent bigs defensively, Cat and Gobert, to where if it gets switched, they're able to stop Jokic a little bit. Jokic still got off, though. He's, uh, Yeah, I said what I said. <laughs> no, Jokic still played great, but there's definitely times to where I didn't think Gobert had the size or enough muscle to kind of stop him, which right. no one really ever does, but he was able to throw him off his game a little bit. The, the crazy um, thing is, is I actually watched that game. Um and I watched the entire game. Uh, don't let the box score fool you for people who didn't see the game. And you're like, oh, Jokic did this thing. Jokic actually played like shit. He had a lot of turnovers. He looked really sloppy. That's outside, I think. Okay. I'm like, is that me? This um, happened last time. Yep. They I'm, can't hear, but you have fire alarms going off right now, guys. He had a lot of turnovers. He looked incredibly sloppy at times. He was taking irregular shots. He just looked like he wasn't really interested. Like maybe because the Kentucky Derby was about to go. And he was like a little distracted by that, maybe. I don't know. But like I'm telling you, like that wasn't the Jokic <laughs> that tore the Lakers up a couple like days ago. That wasn't the same guy. Like, don't let the box score fool you. Like he looked incredibly sloppy. Yeah. I mean, I was kind of I was gonna say he didn't look good, but nope. dropping 32 points is still, you know, something. Yeah. That just um, shows you how great. I he think was he played better than Jamal Murray. Oh, yeah. Um, and then I I assume you guys saw. Edwards talking about after the game. Best player in the NBA he played against. Mm -hmm. Jamal Murray is probably the best closer he's playing against. And then the best three-point shooter, he said Michael Porter Jr. Michael Porter Jr. is hit. I looked at his last five games. Mm -hmm. It was like 40%, 50%, 60%, 70%. He's shooting 55% from three in the playoffs there. And he's doing the JR type style threes to where, I mean, he's either one wide open or it's in your face. It don't matter. He's still hitting that shit. 10. And smacking them things. He's 6'10", and he jumps high on his jump shot. It's hard to contest. When he's coming off that pick and roll, so curtains, night-night. So he's, he's good at that. What he needs to get good at is telling his brothers to calm down. <laughs> he don't need them to calm down, bro. They got the money from him. Well, Still need them to calm down. Well, one's in jail. Yeah, they they said, yeah. hey, hey, little bro, chill. He, he too locked in. He got to get a chip. They be calling him and shit. Hey, man, I need some bail. Like, bro, I just got done with the game. <laughs> he's trying to go back to back. He's not worried about that, bro. Let yeah, he seems like the dude that don't care about his brothers. Let him drown. I mean, I wouldn't say all that, but sure. So this series <laughs> is 1-0, Minnesota. They won a home game. You know, I like to say, me and Matt, playoff series don't really start until oh. an away team wins. Continue. But in the Cavs series, no away team won. That happens. I just wanted to say, since we're talking about Timberwolves and Nuggets, I told Dante personally, and I commented <laughs> on the YouTube podcast. <laughs> Go ahead. I was watching it. He said he was the only one to choose the Timberwolves to win. Everyone else chose the Suns. I chose the Timberwolves to win in six. So rewind that shit. I looked it up. I said the same shit. That's <laughs> all. I just, I just wanted to clarify that for anyone that might have heard it. The last episode when I wasn't on to defend myself, Dante trying to throw me in the dirt. Man, do we think the Timberwolves... <laughs> Can pull the upset here. Absolutely. Yeah. Ooh. Do we think they will, though? 4-0. Sweet. Get yeah, them out, brother. You smoking work, Get them buddy. out. Nah, you smoking work. This is weird. We got a seven-game series in the works. Possibly. I mean, if Jamal, Jamal plays half as better as what he did, there's a chance. <laughs> um, I, I think it's going to go... It'll probably go seven games. Yeah. If not, if it doesn't go seven games, it's going to be like that Lakers series. I kind of... Had a stroke right there. Yeah, facts. It's going to be like that Lakers series to where they were only winning by a couple points, and it was a close-ass game every time they played. Facts. So even if a team wins 4-1, 4-2, doesn't mean they won concisively. Did I say that right? Is that mm-hmm. the right word? Decisively. Decisively. Concisively. 
concise is like meticulous, like Thanks. very like particular. That's why you're a coach. You're <laughs> and, teaching me things. X and O's, baby. Thanks, buddy. X and O's. So uh, to button up our playoff talk, the New York Knickerbockers. I, I can't love, say that. It I sounds wild it. when I say it. I love saying it. It sounds wild when I, I say it. I feel like people like their butt puckers a little bit when I say it. They're like, whoa, what do you say? Oh. Mine loosens up. But. Okay. Go ahead, Dan King. So uh, uh, the New York Knickerbockers knocked out the <laughs> Philadelphia 76ers. 76ers put up an all-time sad performance in that series. Um, so there was one player who really, really showed up in that series. Well, there was more than one, but there's one player in particular that I would like to highlight, and that is one Jalen Brunson. And I would, like, guy. I would like to play a little Would You Rather. Ooh, jumping right into it. Jalen Brunson edition. Let me hear it, cuz. All right. So, Would You Rather, you guys know, I'm going to say a player. You tell me, Would You Rather, this guy or Jalen Brunson? Do you think someone um, broke into our building? That's what alarm's going off. There was an Escalade sitting downstairs. I got pepper spray in my pocket. That re- You don't got your gun this time? Nah, I left it. It's, it's in the car, unfortunately. But I do got some pepper Damn, spray. he stole the gun, broke the window. Now he's up here coming to get us. This is my travel one. I got some bear mace, too, in my car. What's the difference between <laughs> bear mace and pepper spray? It's way stronger, dog. A bear. Human. <laughs> do they just have, like, way better eyes than, like, more protective eyes? than It's them? stronger. Fucking, they are big as hell. <laughs> you need some potent That's like Does that matter with eyes, though? Yeah. Like, with the it, eyes? It's pretty much pepper spray, like what he just showed you, but it shoots See, permanently like, blinds them is what you're telling It shoots, like, 15 feet. Oh, okay, that makes sense. And it's strong. Okay, yeah, that pepper spray don't shoot 15 feet. No, like, that's probably, like, six feet. It ain't, like, me on a lonely Saturday night. You. The bear mace is from stopping a bear to fucking... Just know... You get, get into a road there. rage incident with me, you could be at the red light for a long time. <laughs> I'm just glad you guys didn't hear what I said, but if they heard what I said, it's funny. Well, it's you'll fucked have to up. play it for me. So, would you rather Jalen Brunson edition? First name. Let me look at my list. Ja Morant. Damn. Oh, you want me to go first? <laughs> We'll go back every other. Hey, we'll go every other now. Derek I ain't answering had, first every time. Put an order. So hey, I, 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 Derek first had no, I know you guys didn't see this behind the scenes, but Derek had no clue. And he just locked eyes with Jordan like, you go. And Jordan looked at him like, you go. What? Well, yeah. I mean, originally we went that way when he had the question. So that's why. <laughs> that's why I was assuming. He has no clue who he wants. That's why. Um, Give me John Morant. Okay. Uh, you've never seen a player like that explosive like him. I think Jalen Brunson. Okay, we have. Uh, In the league right now, no, no one's doing what John Morant was doing at at his height, AI's height. He's not AI's height, but he's like AI's build and stature for the most part. He's skinny. Who else is doing that? How tall is John Morant? Like 6'2". He might be. Who else is doing that, though? At his height? He's trying to yam on everybody like that. Anthony yeah. Edwards is bigger. About so he's similar, yeah, yeah. He's but he's way bigger. Don't make me think that hard. I'll give it to you. Give me jaw. Somebody's gonna roast. As long as he keeps his guns locked up, give me jaw. Hanging on the set. Yeah, give me jaw. Shorty. Fuck it. If we getting roasted, we getting roasted together. Give me jaw. <laughs> no, just for argument's sake, I'll say Jalen Brunson. I don't think that you can, like, you can argue either one, but they're both very, very good options. I like it. All right, next name, De'Aaron Fox. Fuck. This is a tough list. De'Aaron Fox gives you better defense. Um, and he's faster. And he's the Fox. Um, I don't like Jalen Brunson that much, dude. I think offensively he's inconsistent as hell. Man, I don't know if you watched that Sixer series, though. You get it all off of one series? Listen, he elevated his game in the playoffs. That's what you want from a player. I agree. Give me Jalen over De'Aaron. Yeah, I'll take Jalen Brunson, too. I think he's a better overall player than Darren Fox. Okay. Jordan's going to go for the next two first, asshole. All right, let me make these names a little harder. <laughs> a little veteran here, a little older guy. All, All right. right, so what is it? Okay, go on. There's only five names. Okay. Stephen Curry, Wardell. You going, like, right now? Who are you taking currently, right now? Currently, yeah. right now. Or for, yeah. like, my, or for my future. No, would you rather? Who would you rather have currently right now at this point? Well, who's currently in the playoffs? I mean, that's a team thing. You know, Clay Thompson did hey. drop zero in the play-in game. Hey, taking Jalen Brunson. Okay, I like it. Let's go, let's go cause some stirs, buddy. I like it. Currently, right now, you give me one year with the player, give me Steph. 
Okay. I like how, I like what you did there. Well, you controlled your own narrative, LeBron. Well, yeah, I said the future. I ain't taking him for my future. I like it. Next name. The closer himself. The Canadian killer. Jamal Murray. Nobody calls him that. I just came with it. came up with that. The spot. Canadian killer? He is Canadian. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I think I'm taking uh, Mapletron. <laughs> Mapletron? Don't disrespect him by calling him that bum's name. <laughs> no, I, I think that he's... He's better than Jalen Brunson. Okay, Jamal Murray. I like it. Jamal Murray, the only thing that he's killing is that girl from Penn State. Oh, my God. With that thing that he put on his IG Jesus story. Jesus, primary. And last name. No, no, no. Oh, okay. give, okay. give me Jamal. I think if Jamal was put in a situation to where he's the true number one, I think he can do the exact same thing that Jalen Brunson is doing. I like it. The exact same thing. I like it. Last name. Tyrese Halliburton. <clears throat> Yeah, you said I was going for the next two. It's back to you, buddy. So give me give me Jalen Brunson here, and I'm going to give you a reason why. Sure, Tyrese Halliburton gives you 10-plus assists sometimes. That's going to happen when you have the ball for 40 minutes a game, right? You're bound to get those assists no matter what, even if you're garbage. Um, wow. I'm not saying he's garbage. No, I'm just saying you're just undermining his ability to really get people open. But keep going. No, he's able to get people open. He's great. But this is the same thing Pat Bev said. Of course oh, he's going to put up 10 assists when he has the ball for 40 minutes. Exactly. Jamal Murray doesn't average a lot of assists. Why? Because it's in the ball. It's in the hand of Jokic for the most part, right? Um, but who the fuck what did you say I was arguing about? <laughs> <laughs> who was I just talking about? Tyrese. Oh, dude. I got completely off topic. Don't cut that so, out. So Tyrese... I think Jalen Brunson a better, is a better offensive player than Tyrese Halliburton. We've seen Tyrese's jump shot. That shit looks whack and inconsistent. I say Jalen <laughs> Brunson's inconsistent, but a little less inconsistent than okay. Tyrese. And Jalen Brunson's not a big three-point shooter. He likes mid-range. No. And, uh, big mid-range guy. I'm going to go, and he doesn't have a... Pacers might have a better roster or better all-stars than Jalen Brunson's team. So give me Jalen Brunson. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I, I think it's really close, but... For some reason, don't know why. I hate the Indiana You hate Pacers. the Pacers for no so reason at give me, all. Uh, give me Jalen Brunson. Jesus I actually don't Christ. have any idea I why know. I hate them. You just them. do. Just one day I was like, I fucking hate them colors. That's okay. I hate Matt Barnes for no reason. No reason at all. I'm going to start podcast beef with him. I mean, he just looks like a guy you don't like. Hey, y'all see how vascular I am today? Scalabissier. You see me? Dang. Big Kentucky guy, huh? So go over those names real quick and say who'd you rather. All right. So we want to know. Who would you guys rather over Jalen Brunson? Would you rather <laughs> this Tyrese Halliburton, Jamal Murray? No, give me yours. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not doing that. No, I'm asking you. Oh, no, no. No, that's my question. I actually had it written down in the outline. I just didn't let <laughs> you know. Lying. I had the Second same off. list and I was going to ask you. <laughs> so I think I would rather like everybody to just be on my team. <laughs> that's not right. All right. If I really had of, to do it. Um, just real quick, run down the list. Um, Give me... De'Aaron Fox over Jalen Brunson. Not mad. Give me Jalen Brunson over Ja Morant. Um, That's crazy. Give me Steph Curry over Jalen Brunson. Give me Jamal Murray over Jalen Brunson. And then give me Jalen Brunson over Tyrese Halliburton. So we had everything the same besides Ja Morant. I had Ja Morant. Listen, Ja Morant's explosive. He's a good player. He can put up points and stuff like that. Um, I've seen Jalen Brunson close out big games. I've seen him elevate dudes who aren't that talented and get them wide open shots because of how much attention he draws. I've seen this dude. He's small for one. Finish through contract. He's he's a stocky dude, but like Jalen Brunson isn't very big. And I've seen him take over games. I've seen him drop 40 points consecutive games in the playoffs. I'm taking Jalen Brunson over Jaw. And it's no slight to Jaw. I think it's close. I think Jaw's super talented. But I think Jalen Brunson, if I want that guy on my team, that's just me. Yeah, sure. Sure. John Morant just has better stats too. Yeah, overall. that's okay. And I'm I'm just I believe he will take me farther, you know, as long as he doesn't get hurt and doesn't wave his gun around. I was gonna say as long as he doesn't shoot you at halftime, sure. But yeah, I'm I'm taking him over. That's fine. Over we could do that. Sure. Every time he's played Jalen head to head, he's outplayed him. So that's cool. Legit almost every time besides like one. This is who I would rather on my team. That's okay. Okay. Is okay. he is he your fourth option then on your team? It's not that bad. 
<laughs> this cat is disrespectful. The hey, Knicks Nation about to be at you, bro. You know they don't play. Well, they can suck my dick, Nation. Oh my here, god, bro. hey, that was a bar. <laughs> Damn, Kendrick, you've been fucking in the booth. All, All right, right, where are we going next? NBA talk is over. NBA um, talk. I do want to shout out Lando Norris. Finally won his first F1 race. He's only ever finished second for a long time. Wasn't he a dog? Bet? No. I bet on Verstappen, but my bet lost yesterday when I bet on the Nuggets. So, ah. Yeah. Lando's a um, big name, right? Lando is a really big name. He's a great racer. Never finished first, though, until today. Um, Max Verstappen, or, I mean, I think he's the best racer in all of F1 right now. He lost by seven seconds to Lando today. Damn. So, yeah, and then to... The other podium was Charles Leclerc. He's he was behind for stopping by seven seconds. So sounds like a bunch of people. Or two seconds. Know. I'm sorry. No, for stopping was behind Lando by seven, and Leclerc was behind for stopping by two. Dang, close to two, not to seven. Yeah, there was guys that finished way closer, but I must say seven yeah. seconds is a long. Time. First F1 race all year. I got to watch because it was like right after the Cavs game. I just left the channel on. Fire. Yeah. Did you guys watch the Kentucky Derby? No. Who? I'm not old enough to care about that. <laughs> Listen, yet. I'm gonna keep it real with you. Fireworks. It was just as exciting as the Nuggets Timberwolves game. Man, it just me. only lasts as long as you in bed. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, I never understood why the Kentucky Derby was like as hyped up as it is. Exactly. I'd rather watch the Hub. Like, I, I you should have took that nap. I'd rather watch NASCAR, bro. <laughs> All right. Like. Who the watch fuck snails cares about race. horse racing? Where are we go, going next? I can next? go up to uh, fucking the casino right up the road and watch horses <laughs> running in a circle. Where are we going next? I'd rather watch fucking paint on the wall dry. Where okay. are we going next? That's all everybody thinks we're doing. What are we talking about next? Uh, Jordan has a little game that we... <laughs> little gamey we, game. We, well, not game. A discussion that we kind of brought up during text message. and Oh, if you wanted yeah. to. yes. <clears throat> so I want, off, I want you guys to go first. Of course. Why can't you I go first? Because I mean, have mine was like the secret. So yeah, but you, that's why you should yeah. just reveal it immediately. No, you guys got to go no. first because okay. I think the guy that I have is going to catch you off guard. All right, go ahead, Derek. Hopefully this guy doesn't catch you off guard. It might. Jordan, I know you didn't pick this so guy. So, Jordan, introduce yeah, yeah, yeah. what okay, we're yeah. doing first. Okay, yeah. Thank so, you. we're doing... I want you to name the most overrated player in NFL history. I think mine is going to be surprising, but I want to see what you guys are first. I'm about to say Peyton Manning. Okay, so for me, I'm going to give an asterisk around this. I didn't know that we we're doing most overrated player ever. I thought we were just spitting a, a random overrated player. So about to Which say, this guy is in the Hall of Fame, so it has some you know, level to it. I know you didn't choose him, Jordan, because you said, hopefully I don't have the same guy. I chose Cher- uh, Terry Bradshaw. Mm, fuck you. And... <laughs> Terry Bradshaw, he's in the Hall of Fame, right? Made it to three Pro Bowls, one All-Pro. Um, and then, you know, he won four Super Bowls. That's cool. He had 212 touchdowns and 210 interceptions. Mm. Does that scream out Hall of Fame numbers to you? To me, no, not really. Um, I think his best year that he had was 28 touchdowns and 20 interceptions. If that's your best year as a quarterback, it's pretty sorry for you, buddy. Um, or 22 and 14, either or. But there's multiple years with 20-plus interceptions by one Terry Bradshaw. And um, he started in eight games his very first year. Mm-hmm. Started in eight games, through six, touch- six touchdowns, 24 picks. So he didn't even start off his career very well. Made it to, to three Pro Bowls. Yeah, he won. Um MVP or Super Bowls, but that's because of the defense. It's crazy how much you hate the Steelers, bro. I, I'm i strictly basing it off the player right now. <laughs> I really could have said anybody and you were just like. Two, listen, Jordan. Jim Brown is the most overrated. Bro. Jordan, I want to. Is 200 and t- 212 touchdowns and 210 interceptions good? No. Is that Hall of Fame worthy? Eh. Ah, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, How many rings does he have? He has four. If Trent Dilfer won four at the Ravens that carried him, do you think he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame? Absolutely not. It was not because of you that won the Super Bowl. That is my reasoning. Terry Bradshaw did not go out there and light the defense up. Terry Bradshaw, one of the most overrated players. No offense, Terry. 
Hope you're doing well, but you don't deserve to great be in guy. the Hall of Fame. Great He's guy. Great guy. I like watching him. Yeah. Don't deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. Dante? All right. Um, I know people probably think I've attacked this team numerous times and this this organization numerous times. It's you're nothing also personal. Going the Steeler, you motherfucker. I am not. Okay. Broncos. Although I wanted to say Lynn Swan never had a thousand yard season ever and he's in the Hall of Fame. That's crazy. Trash. But when people are coming good, it's your presence on the field, the big games. It's not Lynn Swan, actually. My most overrated player is Troy Aikman. Troy Aikman, three time Super Bowl champion. Okay. Let's go, let's take a look at what, some, what Mr. Aikman did. Played 11 seasons. Okay. 100. In 65 games played. You guys ready for this? Yep. Through 165 touchdowns. Yeah. One touchdown per game, pretty much. Then he threw 141 interceptions. Yeah, that's okay. better than Terry. Never had a 4,000-yard season. Sorry. <laughs> Never had a 4,000-yard season. Had a guy named Playmaker on his team. Michael Irvin. I was going to say, who that? Playmaker. Never had a... Playmaker had great great seasons. Had a 1,500-yard season before. Didn't he have a good running back on there, too? Did have a Hall of Fame running back. Emmitt Smith, one of the greats. Top five all time, some people would say. You got these guys around you. I think they're elevating you and making you look better. Pretty good defenses over there, too. I think they had pretty good defenses. Uh, I think they had a Hall of Fame coach as well. Damn. Yeah. Jimmy. So it sounds like this guy should have been way better, huh? I just feel like the numbers should just pop a little bit more. You yeah. know, I'm looking at the yards per season, the touchdowns. Hey, by the way, most touchdowns in the season ever, 23. Never had more than 23 touchdowns oh, in the Terry season. Terry Bradshaw threw more than him. INTs. In Guess 1950. What? One year, <laughs> he had nine touchdowns, 18 picks. The following season, he decided to throw 11 touchdowns. Kudos to you. He's he throwing, also threw 18 throwing, picks again. He was throwing lefty that year. He right? also threw give 18 him, Give him a break. Again. All right. I just think Mr. Aikman... Big D Nation. I just think America's team just made him seem better than what he is because he is a Hall of Famer. Why do you, you know my nation? Big, I hate you I'm so sorry. much. Uh, Fifteen comebacks in twenty game minute uh, game winning drives though impressive. You know when you just look down at Michael Irvin and say, "Oh fuck it, he's down there somewhere." Or a screen pass to Emmett. Or Emmett just gets busy in the <laughs> passing game and catches one. Yeah, we got we got to watch yard. those to see if he actually pulled it together there. So sorry, Big D Nation. <clears throat> my most overrated player is Mr. Aikman. And some of them, I feel like they're like, facts, he was trash. <laughs> <laughs> so going back to touchdowns, mine is the first non-quarterback. Okay. We got a running back. A running back. Mr. Bo Jackson. Oh. 16 career rushing touchdowns. Now, I know he was hurt. But to put that into perspective, Trent Richardson had 17. <laughs> <laughs> well, you attacking Browns players, bro. Bo Jackson had a career high of 950 yards rushing in a season. 16 running backs had more than that this year in the NFL. I know they had a shorter season, whatever. Statistically, Philip Lindsay is a better running back. Ah, Compare how many, him. How many years did Bo Jackson play? He played four years. Okay, four years. Okay. Yep. He never had more than five touchdowns in a season. Darren Bland had... Five this year, and he's a corner. Now, yes, I am reading this off of a TikTok that fully convinced me. Nothing wrong with that. Bo Jackson had 16 rushing touchdowns in his career. Mm -hmm. Jalen Hurts and Josh Allen both had 15 this year. Raheem Mostert had 18 just this year to Bo Jackson's 16 career. And he's never had more than five touchdowns in a single season. I said that already, but Clinton Portis had five in one game. Alvin Kamara did too. Yep. Had six. Yep. Jamal Charles had five thousand yard seasons and Bo Jackson did not. I believe he didn't break a thousand. He had Yeah, I don't think he ever nine fifty was his career high. Um uh, and this TikTok says that he had two receiving touchdowns and uh Zach Wilson has one. <laughs> Not sure. Didn't look. Didn't fact check that one. Nick I don't Foles know if he one. has a catching touchdown. Nick Foles has one. Yeah. yeah. Um, Doug Mort. Doug Martin has m more touchdowns, yards, yards per run, yards per game, receptions, recep receiving touchdowns, and receiving yards. Doug Martin's the goat. And uh, yeah, 
He just at he's a very hyped up player. I think a lot of it has to do with Madden. If I'm being honest, yeah, he always gets the nastiest Madden cards or the Tecmo Bowl. Well, he yeah. was, even though he only had 950 yards. If you look at what well, he did, 40 time. I'm allegedly. gonna I'm gonna disagree with that one real quick before we even go there. Go if Doug Martin averaged more yards per carry than Bo in his very short career, when Doug played pretty long and got beat up, that's a terrible case for what I think what you were gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> did i stop you i'm gonna let you have it okay i'm gonna let you have it all right you can have that one uh that's what i think you were gonna say he was going crazy when he played but if right. doug martin averaged all those per game two better then that kind of sh- i think okay that so shows I, I i did read it wrong he had <laughs> bo jackson has more yards per rush okay. but doug martin has more per game okay. more yards per game yeah okay. so but he has more overall yards you don't know like the, the exact it doesn't have okay, the exact numbers for I that. Um, Bo Jackson averaged 5.4 yards per attempt. Doug Martin was 4.1. But when you hit compare on pro football reference, Doug Martin is green besides yeah. that. I do want to... I want. Can you put it on me real quick? Steelers fans, I'm sorry. You ain't sorry. Maybe Terry Bradshaw did win you a Super Bowl. Maybe he did play really good one, one Super Bowl. He had four touchdowns, one pick for 318 yards in 1979. So I'm proud of you, Terry. Bravo. So Jordan. But I I also want to say, like, it's not a stab at Bo Jackson. He just didn't play nearly as long as uh, some other guys have because of his injuries. He never – I, I don't know fans? how long the season was back then. I don't know. I don't think so. He shouldn't be. How many games was the season back in, like, 1989? I can look, know, like, I'll look sure. it up for you. Because if it was 14, he never played a complete season. He played seven games his rookie year, 10 the year after, 11 and 10. So he never played a full season and he didn't start every game either. He never started for a single game. Do you think Bo Jackson was a better football player or baseball player? 16. I'm sorry, he did start. Should have been 16 games. Yeah, so if it was 16, he started nine, he started five games, nine games, nine games, and then zero games. While playing 7, 10, 11, 10. But I, I just think, I think him being a dual sport athlete drove his popularity through the roof. It, what he would do with a baseball bat when he struck out and shit. Just I know snapping he would, it over his head. He was an, I, I don't remember what kind of baseball player he was. I was about to lie and say he was an all right baseball <clears> player. He might have been great. I don't know. I didn't watch him play baseball. I was negative 10 years old the last time he played football. Negative 10. <laughs> um, I hate this dude. But I, I think him being a dual sport athlete and like all the videos probably all over ESPN and shit, they he was probably super popular for that reason. But the play wasn't what it everybody makes it out to be when you get 99s on every position in Madden and you never ran for a thousand yards. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah, he averaged 5.4 yards a carry. Doug was <clears throat> 4.1. So he did average more, but I don't shouldn't even be comparing him to Doug Martin anyways. Well, <laughs> Matt sent me his. Would you guys want yeah. me to say Matt's? There's yeah. no explanation behind Did it. Did you ask him just now? We talked about it already. Okay. Um, Matt's most overrated player is Brett Favre. Okay. Um, I think, you know, maybe it has something to do with the multiple 20 interception seasons. Uh, one, two, three four, five, six, seven, 20 interception seasons. Uh, one year he was Jameis Winston. He threw 20 touchdowns and 29 interceptions um, on 600 attempts. Um, there was another year where he had 600 attempts and he only threw for 3,800 yards. It's a little rough. So I don't, Matt probably has a little more behind that. I'll let him speak on <clears> it maybe when he comes uh, back to the podcast, you know. But uh, Matt's most overrated player is Brett Favre. So Packers Nation, jump on his back. Yeah, Not mine. Three MVPs. It's a little yeah. rough for that argument, in my opinion. Yeah. I think Terry Bradshaw might have an MVP too. The thing is, is Brett Favre played twenty seasons. Yeah, he played. Yeah, he played. You gonna discredit his his older seasons or what's the? I mean, it just all depends. I mean, what, what do you think he was still playing at a high level for? I mean, his yes. I mean, we his second to last year when he had thirty three touchdowns and seven interceptions. Yes, mm-hmm. at forty years old for Minnesota, thirty three sure. touchdowns, seven picks. Well, his uh, MVPs came early in his career. Yeah. So. 
So the longer they play, the worse that they like. Are you gonna I'm NBA, just, NBA version? You gonna diss Vince Carter for playing all those extra years and not doing anything? You know what I mean? Yeah. When you look at LeBron, absolutely bum. Yeah. Okay. Well, you look at Michael Jordan, still drop forty when he was forty. Bums. Yeah. Okay. Get better. Okay. GFN. All right. <laughs> Hey, it's his guy, not mine. Yeah, no, I, I'm i a green, but that's everyone knew that who Brett was. No one's saying Brett was going to secure the football and he just threw it. Yeah, everyone knew that. Just threw it. Don't matter. So yeah. I'm going to I'm going to disagree with Matt on that one. All right. It's cool. Not wow. a quarterback I'd want on my team, but I don't think he's. <laughs> yeah. What was the thing? Overrated or. Yeah. You're I more think, like the black quarterback type of guy, right? Yeah, I love him. <laughs> Why? Like Cam Newton. Yeah, I like Cam Newton. So you just go a lot like that. No, I like Cam Newton. Cam Newton, I love watching Cam Newton with the Panthers. I was going to buy his jersey. You Did I see what I go to his camp? quarterback camp? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, boys. Is that it? Is that all we got for today? If, I wouldn't go to his camp if I had the option to only choose one and had every quarterback to go to. Hey. That was my It's thing. time to let him know. Didn't you have a, a football game too? Yeah. I have a little football game. You want to do it on or off? Time. Um, we'll do this one on. Okay. How, how many minutes are we running right now? 47. Ah, 47. Too many. Cut too it many? It Cut it? Yep. All right, boys. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Don't forget, like, subscribe, comment. Hey, stop commenting talking about, they just said everybody have a podcast. Not everybody needs to have a podcast. Someone commented not too long ago. Be like, Bogdan Bogdanovich looking ass with a clown emoji. And I'm like, man, <laughs> like, what do you want from me? I'm like, I can't change this. Such an old joke. I know. I know. And it's all random new people of the all the podcast. time. And one person yeah. thought I was really him. Well, you are. They're like, do they really have Bogdan on the podcast? Like, no, Does bro. Bogdan you think I sound like that? Bogdan. You think he sounds like that? From, coming from Siberia or wherever he's from? Serbia? Siberia? Serbia. Have you ever heard him talk? I'm drunk. <laughs> no. I don't know what that guy sounds like. Did you just pull my fucking... Yeah. When you weren't drunk. Is that Thundercats? They don't even remember that episode, but yes. Jordan was so wrong about something. He goes, dude, I'm fucking hammered. But hey, hit that like button. Goodbye. Comment. It means a lot. I love you. Come to D-Nation. Come to D-Nation. Cut it. Pun, Game pun, time, so I can get pun intended. D-Nation. Come to D-Nation.